Hello, this is Robert Van Arlen, and I gotta say I'm very happy to be here today because I've got my first guest, and it's a special guest because the way we met is just epic. And uh, this is all about Every Note Matters. It's the name of the podcast, and I uh, look forward for uh, you joining this series over a period of time. But here we have with us Aaron McKeever from Omaha, Nebraska. Aaron, say hello to my audience. Hello, everyone. Thank you for mentioning Omaha, Nebraska, Robert. Uh, now that you've been there seven or eight times, so don't be bagging on it. Hey, hey, you know what? I tell you what, we're in Scottsdale, Arizona, I gotta tell you right now. You know, Omaha is in a deep freeze. I hear it's just like, it's probably it's called, worst. uh, something's bomb cyclone. I didn't think we could say bomb anymore. You know, and it's called a bomb cyclone. The bomb cyclone. Worst snowstorm in 50 years. Is that right? And I just left four hours ago. Yeah, what are your friends thinking about you now? Well, I'm staying in Scottsdale with you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the only place to be. So I got to tell you, you know, meeting this guy, it was, uh, you know, some people are th think that's kind of weird, you know what I mean? You talk about you met this special dude, you were, you guys were on a trip. I'm going to let him tell a little bit of his version because, you know, it's kind of like, I probably have my version perspective of it, but I know he's got his and, it, and I kind of like his because he's sometimes a better story te teller than I am, even though I'm supposed to be the speaker. How did we meet, Aaron? Well, uh, we've been on a few men's summits. Uh, in the last few years and the original one was to N New Orleans and these groups can have eight guys dozen guys 20 guys and um, our buddy was a, a professional coach and had us down for a weekend and uh, we had some dinner and before before the weekend uh, he gives me the heads up hey man you've got a brother from another mother that you're gonna meet this weekend and I said, what? And apparently he said the same thing to you. <clears throat> so uh, as the story goes, you know, you and me hit it off right away. And, you know, the rest is history. We've been on how many trips? 17, 18, 17, 19? 18, and there's even... Two years. Yeah, two years. And there's more accounting. Like what? Two weeks from now? Going to Vegas. Exactly. Uh, you're coming back to Omaha in May. Exactly. And I'm sure I'll get you somewhere in June. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's amazing because really I was supposed to come on that trip. I waited till a lot, it was about the two days before. I'm like, you know what? He called me up one time and he said, hey, you know what? You've got to go. Just get there. I promise you it's going to be worth it. And I'm so glad I did it. And I got to tell you, it was a fun trip. We had, uh, you know, of course, we, we ate quite a bit and we drank quite a bit. And I'm surprised we remember anything. But, you know, uh, from there, it was uh, just a, uh, just a meeting of the minds. And I got to tell you, I've learned so much. Uh, I've learned so much from Aaron McKeever. Uh, I know you've been a, a successful entrepreneur, doing a lot of different things, and uh, it really has transformed and changed my life. Uh, if you sort of think back, you know what what really kind of got you started in in the world of business. What what is the thing that just said, you know what, this is what I got to do. I just got tired working for the man, you right? know, and I thought I could do certain things better, and then you trust and believe in yourself in terms of making decisions and you know wanting better and basically that's what I've strived for every day since um, was in the auto industry for almost 18 years uh, started my dealerships and then just in the last six years got into the restaurant business and uh, once you're bitten by that you're bitten right so I've got a new con concept coming out in Omaha Nebraska um, late this year looking forward to that It'll be a music venue uh, so uh, you know and thank you for the nice words uh, I've learned equally if not more from mr. Robert Van Arlen but uh, you know we hit it off uh, from day one <clears throat> and you know I missed you the previous 40 years so exactly. it was like where have you been exactly <laughs> uh, and then to come to find out you're from Kansas City oh yeah yeah so you're, right down you're, the road you're Midwest, mid Midwest man so uh, I appreciated that and you've you know in terms of having a best friend or somebody you always look forward to hanging out with I mean you're that dude oh, you know, I appreciate that man when I come to Scottsdale Somebody got uh, me a tissue right now. There's nobody else. Ready to cry. Nobody else I call first than Robert Van Arlen, and it's been in a brief 
you know, amount of time, two years, and uh, we've done a ton together. And like I said, I've learned a lot from you. You've been successful, and I mean, you should run for mayor in yeah. this town. Yeah. Yeah, black mayor, Scott Sell. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that works. <laughs> I'd vote for you. Yeah, hey, that's all I need, you know? It's all about who you know. And, you know, you love sports, music. Absolutely. Entertainment. Um, and, you know, we just hit it off. And seriously, uh, when our buddy was like, you know, you're going to meet another brother from another mother, you know, it was funny. Right. But I think when we left New Orleans that first time, we were like, Oh, when am I seeing him again? Exactly. And it was within a few weeks. Within a few weeks. Yeah. I mean, literally, I I never thought, you know, living in Kansas City, I think I went to Omaha once, like one time. Now, I remember there was a dog track called Exarbit, and I'm dating myself. That You know, now it's, uni I think, University of Omaha pretty much takes care of that whole area, right? You have dated yourself. Uh, yeah, I know. But I'm old. It's okay. I know. I know what that's going to put you in the ballpark north of 50. <laughs> north of 50? It's going to be north of something. Right. So, sometimes north is better than south, depending <laughs> on where you are, right? Uh, but anyway, I got to tell you, one of these epic trips, you know, when you know that you're like, you know that you're good friends with somebody and you're, you're you know, you're doing some traveling around it. Remember that time we were in Omaha and, and there was a tornado or something that came through? Yes. Remember that day? Trash cans flying in front of the windshield. Right. And we still we driving were going, fifty miles. An I hour. think we we're going to a country concert. Uh, well, we wanted was Eric, that the time Eric Church. Eric Church, to right? Back. To get a black man to go to a country concert, and I've never been. See, you're very giving. Exactly. I mean, that's when you know, like, you're really friends with somebody, right? Next and, time you come to a country concert, no more. I'm getting you a cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Van Arley had a cowboy hat, or maybe some shit kickers. You need some. Oh, you need some boots. Yeah, I do. I could use some boots, but I gotta tell you, the funny thing about this is that the day we were going, it was so funny. All of a sudden, we were driving, and we knew where we were going. We had a driver, so make sure everybody understands. We had a driver because we wanted to have fun, right? And so we're on the freaking highway, and you know everybody stopped. You know, underneath the overpasses, right? They're underneath the right. Everybody stopped, and they're just all gathered together. Sure. All the cars, are, and we go around the traffic up the uh, the ramp, and the first thing we see is a semi on his side, <laughs> and we go like, "Who's crazy now?" Right. <laughs> right. It's like keep going, and, and the, you know, the SUV is going side to side like this, and we're all like, "Oh man, we could have been in a tornado. We could have been in a tornado right that time." Yeah, we get back to the house, and there was nothing. That was supposed to be on the patio on the patio anymore. <laughs> we spent the day. I remember the next day we were going down the, you know, we were going down that little beach area, right? Picking right. up all your furniture. That was, uh, yeah, either in the water, or around the water. It was in the lake. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, was crazy. in the street. Oh yeah. It was in the neighbor's yard. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. But um, like I said, you know, I think when you find a great companion, uh, a buddy. You know, there's nothing I don't want to do that I don't invite Robert Van Arlen to. So, um, so, you know, uh, I'm very blessed to have you in my life. No, I appreciate it. And I, you know, the thing about it is that, it's that we don't, you know, when they say every note matters, I, I love that term because it's not just about even us. I mean, our core friends are now meeting our core friends. And everybody's like developing relationships with each other and so right. on and so forth. So it's become <clears throat> contagious to see, you know, how things have kind of grown and, and mushroomed around and so on and so forth. My, you know, my friends here, Lisa and Michael, uh, they they're like, yeah, you know, we got a chance to spend some time with Aaron. That was so cool. You know, I mean, everybody's just like, you know, there to support each other. So I think it's, right. you know, that's what relationships are all about, right? It's not about, it's not about, you know, just about yourself. It's right. like, if you want to do something in this world, man, you got to, you know, you got to get out there and meet somebody, you know? And that's like, I always say this, you never know, you never know who you're going to meet and when you're going to meet them. And, you know, I, I've got some great stories around that. But if you were to pick like one person in your life that, you, that, that you've met, either that you've met or somebody that you, uh, that, you know, may help make that change in your life, who, who would that be? Wow, that I've met. Yeah, um, I would say probably the biggest influence in my life is uh, who I consider my dad, um, and he took me on when he didn't have to. Right. And my mom and him did not work out, and I mean he moved me to college. He went to games, and he still supports me. Right. And right. And now he's retired, and I've always supported him. So that just showed me you know a sense of unconditional love 
And I mean, in terms of solid friendships, I think that that unconditional care, right. love, where you don't expect something from somebody right. uh, is important. And you know a ton of people. Yeah. I know a ton of people and it's like, you get to pick and choose who your friends are. And you know, time is precious. So with that said, you know, like I said, as many times as I can meet up with Robert Van Arlen, we're gonna do it. Oh dude, I'll tell you what, I, 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 and we always, the good news, I mean, we, we always, I mean, 100% of the time, no matter what it is that we're trying to do, you know, I mean, and we have some epic stories that have occurred over the, you know, across this country. I mean, New York, you know, it's like now the only thing, the only, the only challenge I have sometimes is, is when we're playing golf, right? And we're always on the oh, same team. About the golf yeah, game. you see, oh, <laughs> always on the go. same team, right? And you know, it, you know, little things happen on that golf course where we you know we begin to wager a little bit, right? And if we're down, we ain't gonna be down long, because <laughs> because because my man over here we're is pressing. We're, we're pressing, and if you know what that means. That means uh, whatever it takes to make it up. And potentially win, it's going to happen. It doesn't matter what that number is. And boy, I got to tell you, this why you play eighteen holes, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. But uh, we've had some great times uh, on the golf course. Have you, you can share one of your favorite stories about the uh, about playing, if you can remember any. Well, I want to bring up. You brought up New York, so I will bring up New York because this actually happened. And there's a bunch of us out in New York. Uh, we're in Soho, and. Musically, Robert is incredible. So I've seen him on the keyboard, piano, here and there. We get into this um, restaurant for brunch on a Friday afternoon or Saturday, and uh, I pull the waitress over and I'm like, my buddy's incredible on the piano. And this place is packed. I mean, I there's that. 200 people in there. Do you remember that? I it was standing that. room only, and I think we juiced her to get seated early. So I asked her, I said, hey, can you turn down the music? Can, can my buddy get on there? And sure enough, Rob turns around, sits at the piano, and away he went. And you had that place rocket. Oh, yeah. That was a good time. That remember was that a great time. time. You know, and the funny thing is that I think it was coming off of a breakup, too, right? That's why we remember that whole thing. Yeah, I was pretty down. It's amazing. But I walked in that place, and next thing I know. It was you know, like you owned it. I'm like, hey, it's show time, go time, let's do this, right? And you know, it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, those are experiences, and those are kind of experiences that we've had. But um, anyway, you know what? Uh, it's been great. I got to tell you, it's been great. I'm glad you're here this this you know this week. Uh, I think I just saw you last week or the week before. It hasn't been that long. Two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. And then I'm gonna see you again two weeks from now. That's right. I think we're speeding up our time. You know, so you know we did yeah <laughs> the first year we did about twelve trips. I think we're going to exceed that now. So well, I'm looking forward it. to it. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Anybody, thank you for uh, listening. This is Aaron McKeever from Omaha, Nebraska. I'm Robert Van Arlen. Every note matters. And just think about it. You never know who you're going to meet. So be, be ready. Be prepared.